Hello there, Arrow fans. Welcome back to another brand new DC Collectibles Arrow action figure review. Today we're looking at the third action figure, a part of the 7-inch scale figure line, and it's Deathstroke from Season 2 of the TV series Arrow. This is a very, very cool figure. I think one figure that fans have definitely been waiting for. Um, originally, it was supposed to be released last month in February, but it was officially released at uh, comic book stores and other retailers similar to comic book stores um, today, March 4th, 2015. So it was a month late, but it's no big deal. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging, and then we'll uh, see what the figure has to offer. Um, so it has the same style as uh, the packaging as... Um, it's the first two figures, so you have the white and green packaging. You can see in the bubble clearly what the figure is and what the accessories come with. You have the TV show Arrow logo, DC Collectibles logo, the warning logo. On the side you have the character's name Deathstroke and the number three on the arrowhead right there. You also have the TV show logo there. On the left-hand side you have an awesome image of Deathstroke. His name right here, and the name of the number of the figure again. On the back, you have the four figures in Wave 1. The only one that was not released is uh, Arrow, for whatever reason it may be. We have no idea. He was supposed to be released along with Deathstroke, but for whatever reason, he's not. I'm sure we'll get him sometime very soon, though. So, we have the DC Comics logo here, sculpted by General Giant Studios, and the CW logo. So that pretty much wraps up the packaging. Let's open him up and see what he contains. All right, let's go over his articulation first. He has a very good amount of articulation, but I'm a little disappointed with one or two of them. He has a ball jointed neck, but it goes about that much up. He looks down a little bit more, but even then he doesn't look all that down. He has hinged shoulders, but because of everything he has around his armor, he, he can only lift them up that high, which kind of is a bummer. Uh, hinged elbows, hinged uh, swivel wrists with a hinge as well, swivel lower torso, hinged tips, which is great, moves forward and back as well, double hinged knees, hinged ankles with an ankle pivot, so he's really good in terms of articulation. Some of the accessories that inc that comes with the figure, you have this beautifully made gun here. Let's take a good look at it. It has some nice detail to it. Nice paint as well. So you've got that. You've got a small knife. Nice black and carbon gray colors I would call it. You have like a mini sword. Forgive me, I don't know the exact names of these weapons. And you have his normal range sword, which is awesome. And you can put them on the back right here. And there has a hole. You're gonna put it this way. fits in perfectly. You can also put his other weapons in different areas and whatnot. You can put his gun in the gun holster on the side of his right hip, like so. You can put the small knife on the back here. That's sick. And then the, this one can put it right here on his leg. How cool is that? This guy is armed to the T. Now when it comes to the detail, I think it's spot on to the show. I mean, I don't know if he's missing any kind of detail. I'm not 100% sure, but I think for the most part, they got most of it, which is amazing. I think the mask looks phenomenal. It looks great. I love that you can see Slade Wilson's eyeball right there on the left-hand side. Definitely looks great. 
I have a little bit of orange paint on that top side. You could just barely see it, but it's no big deal. It's all good. The buckles around here, all the like bullets that he has all over is just awesome. The holsters that he has around are just stunning. The detail on this guy is great. I love it. A nice blue with this orange-like, or maybe even a tan-like color just blends in so nicely. This whole suit is just phenomenal. And the fact that he can carry four different weapons all over his body, I mean, man, it's, it's just awesome. You can see this hanging from his helmet as well. And this is like a very nice plastic. I feel like you could break it easily if you were to like pull it. But, so you would have to be very careful with that, but. Yeah, DC, DC Collectibles and General Giant do a phenomenal job with their figure lines. Pretty happy with it. Alright guys, this pretty much wraps up my review on Deathstroke. I know it was a short review, but uh, honestly, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is definitely another awesome figure I wanted to add to my Arrow collection. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a very big fan of the TV series. Seasons 1, 2, and 3, they're all phenomenal. And recently, if you guys didn't know, uh, Slade Wilson did appear in an episode. I think it was like two episodes ago. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I know it was just recently, and so it was kind of cool to see him, but hopefully he'll come back and wear this outfit, or maybe even a more updated outfit, um, because this, the character that Manu Bennett portrays, you know, Slade Wilson slash Deathstroke is just phenomenal, and this figure is a must-have. Like I said, he was just released today, so you guys have plenty of time to obtain him. Certain comic book stores still have Oliver Queen and Black Canary, which I've reviewed both. If you guys haven't seen those reviews please make sure to check them out i'll make sure to put a link in the description box below to each of those reviews um make sure to check me out on the mirakuru podcast and arrow podcast and my friends and i we review the latest episodes of arrow um normally on a weekly basis but again they're on they're on i guess a spring break they, they won't be back for another what, week or two something like that same goes for flash uh, so yeah, please share your thoughts by commenting down below, give this video a nice thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more DC Collectibles Arrow figures. As soon as Arrow is released, I will be more than happy to pick him up and review him. Again, thanks again for watching guys. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye.